what do you just what do you how do you think the offense ran today? Uh, you know, I feel like the offense ran good today. Uh, we had 19 assists, I believe. So the assists keep going up. We keep sharing the ball, and our, our uh, my teammates are getting open shots. So it's going good so far. You guys combined the three of you are 17 assists and six turnovers. How's that sound? We gotta get the turnovers down a little bit, but you know, for the most part, looking good. You feel, uh, you know, obviously there were questions about the backcourt, uh, given the fact you lost two starters from right. last year. Uh, um, you know, do you feel like the offense has started off running as smooth as you expected? A little, you know, uh, we had a few bumps in the beginning, beginning of the season, our first couple of games. But I learned a lot from Gerard Odom last year, and Lamonte. He played in good programs in high school, so he, he already have learned a lot as well. Right. And we got Jaren C knocking down shots, so they're looking pretty good for me. What'd you learn from Jaren? Gerard? Gerard? Yeah. Uh, pressure in the ball, just uh, when to go off the bounce. Uh, as tough as he plays with, I, I learned a lot. It seemed like you did a pretty good job today of, you know, getting in, penetrating, get inside. And right, right. Out. What did you like do? I said, yeah, uh, we, we talk about getting assists, getting in the paint, kicking out our shooters. So we just keep rehearsing that in practice, and it, it rolled over to the game today. A few of us were talking, you had that run there midway through the second half, about four out of the six plays in which you scored on were set plays, either inbound plays or coming out of timeouts. Can you talk about the emphasis of that in practice? And who are you asking? Anybody? Uh, Anybody? Just like our, our execution. You know, we rehearse the plays and practice and shoot around. So it's kind of like second nature, second nature to us. So we, we know the play and we try to execute them. Jaron, just uh, talk about that stretch you went on. We scored, I think, eight straight points. Just what was kind of clicking for you during that that part of the game? Uh, I was ready to shoot. My teammates was finding me, and uh, after hard work, we put in, paid off. Are you feeling like you're? Are you feeling better shooting this year than last? You you had pretty good stretches last year, but you seem game to game to be more consistent this year. Are you feeling better? Uh, yeah. Okay. I wouldn't say it's much of a difference. Okay. Good. More Forty-eight percent from three, so yeah. I mean, for this season, yeah. so. I I put in a lot of work in the offseason, and I got two great guards in the backcourt with me, and they're able to find me and get my man off me, and I just hit open shots. Mm -hmm. What did you do in terms of work, and just in terms of your shot? Uh, shoot every day, every night. Do you have a set number of shots you take? Mm, I can't reveal that information. <laughs> <laughs> the last uh, one on that string it was uh, off a of screen. I think you came from around yeah, the baseline. baseline uh, what's that? It's a baseline stagger I came off. Right. Okay. Yeah. So that worked. Yeah. Just the way you drew it up. Yeah, we practice that every day, and you know, just shot it like it was yesterday, the day before. You know, you know, uh, coming into this season again with a lot of new pieces, uh, you know, um, half court offense. You know, people wonder how smooth is it going to be. You know, you can obviously you got athleticism, and you can figure you can score in transition, but when teams, you know, make you uh, hunker down. Where it was last year, do you think it might be uh, could turn out to be better, and why? I feel like it's equal right now, but like I said, we keep rehearsing the practice, so it's definitely going to get better around the conference play. So it's getting better and better daily. Is it nice to finally have a home game? Yes, it is. <laughs> Very nice. Lamonte, how, how much fun is it playing in the backcourt with these two guys? Um, I mean, they can do a lot of stuff. Jared's not only a, uh, Jared's not only a shooter; he he can play off the dribble a little bit. Shane, you know, he gets hot sometimes. Um, they're both great guys, so I like that. Chen, have you ever played in the backcourt with, you got eight assists, he had eight assists, in a backcourt where there's two point guards, but two guys who can also score the basketball? Oh, yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, I've never played like that before. I like the style, though. <laughs> Jen, what's it like having two guys who can feed you the ball like that? And, and oh, you it's easy. Just be ready to shoot. I knock it down when it comes to you. The alley-oop to Rodell. That was, was that all coming out of a timeout? Yeah, we actually ran the same play last year versus Robert Morris. I threw it to free low. So basically, he came over the top like an Iverson screen, and you had to chase around. And I caught him, threw it up, and he's going to catch it. It was pretty high up there. Yeah, it's done sports center, so probably y'all can retweet that on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You got anything else for the players? 